Hello guys, um, I, sorry it's been a while, there just hasn't really been many movies to, I wanted to see lately. There was a couple that caught my eye, but I didn't see them. Um, this movie's been out for quite a while, I don't even know if it's still in theaters, it might be, but, um, The Lego Movie 2. Um, I, I can't believe it, but I actually have never done a Lego Movie review. I might have done it for my top 60 favorite movies of all time, but... I don't remember if it made it to the top 60, and I'm probably going to do a video on it in a little bit because I guess when I started this, I didn't think, but over time, but I didn't realize, but the Lego movie's been out for quite a while, and I'll, I'll, but that's a little off top, that's a little off topic. I'll talk about the Lego movie in a, in a, a video in the future, very soon, um, but we're going to talk about the sequel, Lego Movie 2. Now, it was just released this year, 2019. It's rated PG, so you can take the kids with you to see it. Um, it's an hour 47 long. It has a 7.0 out of 10 on IMDb with about 17,000-ish user votes. And it has 65% on Metacritic with about 50 critics. It stars Chris Pratt from Guardians of the Galaxy and other stuff. And Elizabeth Banks from... She was in Modern Family, but I know her more from Power Ranger movie. <laughs> Um, and it was directed by Mike Mitchell, who actually directed Sky High. Um, on Rotten Tomatoes, the movie has 86% with about 244 critics and 73% by audience with about 1,300-ish audience people. And the critics' consensus on Rotten Tomatoes is, while it isn't quite as much fun as its predecessor, the Lego Movie 2, the second part, fits neatly, neatly into an, an animated all- animated all ages franchise with heart and humor to spare. Hmm. It's that's about right. Um I will say this. Um I think I like the first one a touch more and the biggest reason why I like the first one a bit more is I think there was a lot more going on in the first one. I thought the second one was I think the second one was more, the first one was very exploratory. I felt, you know, you explored so many worlds and characters. And this one, I felt like you only, it's kind of, it kind of parallels Guardians of the Galaxy movies a lot. Like, it's like the first Lego movie, the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, they do a lot of exploring. The second one, they don't really explore all that much. They both kind of, they both stick to a couple places and they kind of, that's that's my thing, and the, the thing about the first one made it great was kind of the the twist at the end of it. This one, the twist already been revealed, so it we already am aware. We're already aware. However, there are twists in this one that I did not see coming. I actually thought was pretty clever, pretty good. But let's go. The animation is top notch as usual. Um, Lego Batman movie. That's another one I could talk about too. But um. But yeah, the biggest, I think the biggest issue with this, the sequel to this, is that, I mean, the first one came out in 2014, five years. I mean, great into the Lego movie, the Batman Lego movie came out in between that, but that's a whole different thing. I mean, you waited five years for a sequel? I mean, that's a long time. I mean, you, you should have come out with Lego Movie 2 and the Batman Lego movie about the same time, in all honesty. I mean, you should have done that. I mean, you could have had other people work on the Batman movie and worked on that one, in all honesty, because cause I feel like the biggest reason why I didn't get as high numbers because, I mean, let's face it, the people who saw it when it first came out in 2014, they probably could have been 10 or 12. I mean, now they're like 17, 18. I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge jump there. I mean... I mean, good God, I don't, I mean, if I watched the Lego movie when I was 12 or 13, I don't know if I would watch the sequel five years later. I mean, good Lord. <laughs> and some people may. I, I would. I don't know. I just think that waiting five years kind of hurt the film franchise quite a bit. And, and yeah, um, I don't count the Lego Ninjago movie. I don't, I don't count that. <laughs> So, in that franchise, but yeah, I love this franchise. Um, the movie itself, um, it does everything that the first one did. The acting's great, the animation, the stories. The story I think was stronger in the first one, but in this one it's good. Um, the jokes are hilarious. 
act. And yeah, the it pretty much hits all the notes. I just think the biggest flaw of this film is there's two. One, the story is solid, but I think the first story was a bit more fresh. It felt more. It felt like it was. It felt more epic. This one kind of feels more. Another, more like another adventure kind of deal. Um, and then, um, and then the other thing, the bigger thing of the two, though, I think is just waiting too long. Five years? Good lord. <laughs> I mean, you should have come out with that at about the same time as the Bambi movie. It would have been hard as hell work and, and all that, but man, that, that should have happened earlier, in my opinion. Because rewatching this after not watching the first one for a while, it just kind of... I don't know. I mean, it just felt like it should have come out sooner, in my opinion. It really should have. Now, they do work that time jump in the film, too, but even then, it's like, it should have come out sooner. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Overall, overall, if you watch the, these two films back-to-back... I imagine it'll still be awesome. This is still a great movie. Like, the first movie, I'd probably give, like, five stars, full five. Um, this one, I think I would give, like, four, maybe four out of five. I think four and a half out of five would be kind of a stretch. But four out of five, mainly because of, I think, the story, mainly of what I said. But it's still a great movie. And I recommend anyone to watch it, especially with kids and all that. But, um... I think they'll. I think they're learning their lesson though, and I think they'll come out if they're gonna do a third one, which I imagine they will, because everyone does things in threes nowadays. That they'll probably do it a whole lot sooner, maybe in two years. I mean, I mean, I can't imagine waiting another five years for a third one. I think that just. I think at that point you should just end with two, in all honesty. But that's just me. But um, but yeah, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.